Hey Sagittarius, welcome. It's Meredith. I'm here with your August 2020 monthly reading. We are using the Light Seers Tarot for your message this month. As always, I'm going to remind you to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus videos. And if you don't know where your signs are placed, go to an astrology calculator online and look those up for yourself. Come back here and watch your videos. All right, cards from the bottom of the deck. This is the overall theme for the reading. And these cards are intended to represent the energy atmosphere of the month for you. So your first card is, <laughs> well, let's just get the difficult stuff out of the way, will we? <laughs> Shall we? Uh, the devil. Yeah. So you know this card. It brings temptation towards self-sabotage in the form of listening to our ego voice, vulture thoughts, the hamster wheel. So recognizing that you and only you have the power to shift this energy. Now, the devil card, when we see it, it's often a cringer in tarot. And I do want to draw some light to this card in that it provides us contrast. It allows us an opportunity to gain perspective where we might not normally. Sometimes we are deeply entrenched in a way of being, thinking, or doing that is so familiar to us, we don't see it. And then lo and behold, along comes a devilish moment. Now, that can show up in a variety of ways. Quite likely, your guides, angels, ancestors, the divine all that is, has been pointing a neon sign at something, but until you quite literally trip over it energetically, you don't recognize it. So I feel that the devil brings an opportunity for epiphany, for where you can set yourself free, liberate yourself from a story, from old programming. It's one of those a fish doesn't know it's in water type of situations. You know, it's so comfortable that we just don't recognize it. The, famil the familiarity is such that it takes an epiphany for us to notice it. So take this card to its highest and greatest potential, which is to provide you with contrast so that you gain new perspective. All right, coming with, you have, hmm, how sweet, Ace of Wands. Gosh, in this deck, she reminds me of the High Priestess. <clears throat> Pardon. This is a, a divine and cosmic gift on offer to you, Sagittarius. It's a gift from the universe of fire, passion, drive, motivation, enthusiasm, wonder, awe, creativity. So this is a card about being lit up from within. Our thoughts, ideas, inspirations. This card could be the epiphany that shines light on the devil. And you have the great grand Aha, I see it. I get it. <laughs> now that I see it and get it, I gotta know it, right? <laughs> and then, look at this, what a beautiful flow. Now you have the Fool, the very beginning of the major arcana of tarot. This is raw possibility, wide open doors, and a willingness to step through all of those doors of opportunity. So there's something new taking hold for you, Sagittarius, that's come out of something old on the devil. Some old story, some old pattern is revealed to you in the light of this Ace of Wands and it creates a new beginning for you. Which is wonderful because <laughs> the next two cards are a bit challenging. We have Three of Swords, so well done in this deck. Just take a moment with that card. Yeah, the artistry says it all. Sometimes it takes moments like this. Bring the devil card to this one too, if you wish. Put them together. Sometimes it takes moments like this to liberate ourselves. And that's just the thing. The Three of Swords is a card of pain, loss, and sorrow. In the suit of swords, it's a memory that we're hanging on to, and it's something that could be influencing us in the way that it cycles 
and circles around in patterns for us in our world in our life and again it's this comfort familiarity with the pair with the pattern that kind of obscures the vision but with this ace of wands here we finally have enough light to see it and as we see it we know it as we know it we let it go we do the healing required and that's really at the core of the three of swords sagittarius it's a card about healing it's not necessarily something that is happening in this now present moment where there's pain, loss, and sorrow penetrating the heart. There is the memory of that because this is a card that speaks to something of the past and how you have rebuilt from, moving on from that business in the past. It shows up because there are tendrils that are linked to the now that are having, having an influence upon you in the devil in how those sabotage thoughts appear for you. And the Ace of Wands and the Fool are here to embrace all of that. This isn't something to resist. This is something to welcome into the love that you are and heal it into wholeness because it has shaped who you are. It is a valuable aspect of your spiritual journey and your life lessons. And this can become a point of inspiration for you when you when you are in review and in hindsight of your journey and you say wow look at where i'm standing today remember when that three of swords was fresh and new and raw and what did i do then did i run from it did i hide from it did i bury some of it sure you know we all do it we can only handle so much at one time and that's why these these two cards and the devil and the three of swords are here for us so we can make decision and choice in the two of swords <laughs> that's accompanying your three. And I love that you got two and three here because it shows progress uh, because they're consecutive numbers in tarot. But the two of swords is really going within the self so that you can hear the inner voice. Now this person looks a bit tormented on this card as does the one on the three of swords. But remember, these are tendrils. These are not so much of the now, but have an influence upon the now. And it's speaking to how you are settling this in the now, bringing love, healing, kindness, compassion to it. So on the two, the heart is protected. We are guarding our heart. And these are the tendrils of the guard left standing, we'll say, that it's up to you to take down. Now, if you've paid attention to the messages in the daily readings, you'll know that we've seen the tower a lot, and usually the tower is coming down at our own hand. And I feel that influence here in these cards. I feel that this too is a tower for you to tear down what remains of an old foundation that no longer serves you because you've got to make space for, make way for uh, your Ace of Wands and your Fool. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, and look, looky, looky, now we have the star, which follows the tower. So I love that. The tower's not showing up in the reading. It's the aftermath of the tower that's showing up in the reading. And I love how the star is done in this deck as well, because look, you have her beautiful heart space lit right up with light, and you see the connection to the divine all here in the card. And this is about holding heart space for what it is you are in creation of and you could be so close to bringing what the star promises to your foundation setting yourself free liberating the past enjoying your ace of wands that these tendrils have shown up for a purpose to let you know you could easily undermine yourself here with ego talk and doubt and worry and old stories instead though you're going within the self on the two and you're watchful, mindful, even though you've got a blindfold on here. <laughs> you are being mindful. You are being decisive. And where in the past you may have gone to sleep around this or you've been so familiar with it that it's comfortable and you don't notice it, something grabs your attention now. And you're able to do something different with it and about it. Yeah, because now you have the Five of Swords sitting there with the star. So this is 
walking on from some kind of inner debate. Fives are unstable in tarot, but, and here comes the big fancy but, they also set you free. It is in the recognition of the instability of the five, which also brings change, that you actually gain stability by liberating yourself from three of swords, two of swords, devil. Yeah, that's some fancy spiritual footwork and good on you for doing it. <laughs> so your five of swords, this is, this is a great connection and more progression through that suit here. Two, three, five now. And then the star in creation mode. A new beginning, a fresh start, and the inspiration, enthusiasm, and fire for it in the wands. That's what you're bringing forward. Perfect. So argue with yourself and quickly recognize that that argument is the contrast that provides the perspective on the devil card for you to have the epiphany that allows you to let go of these tendrils that you've been comfortably familiar in a familiar way living with harboring and then you set them free beautiful really beautiful next we have and good for you here comes some more fire aries leo sagittarius king of wands and there you are in the reading this is you bringing your strength bringing your fire enthusiasm and your forward momentum your self-mastery this is you as the star leaning into all the mastery of the king of wands he is wise kind compassionate well-traveled exciting gregarious humorous wise i think i said wise already but apparently it bears repeating because this is really where you're at this is the kind of footing that you're standing on you've got an ace of wands here and then you have the king holding the ace so you really are bringing the light, bringing the fire to your now. And these little bits, these little shadows are showing up to actually create more success for you. And coming with our king, just to confirm that now, is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. Now you got two divine and cosmic gifts of aces in the reading. Another thing I want to comment on before I go on with the Ace of Pentacles that the aces have the ability in tarot to neutralize the energy of challenging or difficult cards in their characters nearby. So the fact that you have an ace right next to the devil tells you that that ace is balancing out that energy. Now, you have movement and momentum here in the star, you have it in the fool, and you're taking a look at the things that have vexed you that uh, have been brought to light for you in their lingering and influential ways. And now you have a doorway of opportunity to step through with the Ace of Pentacles. And my feeling is this is exactly what's igniting the fire for the fool to lean into that. So this is you in affirmation manifestation here on the star. Gorgeous, right? And this is the this is the contribution in the Ace of Wands from the universe that has the Fool leaning into the Ace of Pentacles. You're going through that gateway. <laughs> you can't stop yourself now. So a new door of opportunity opens for you and you bring your wise, gregarious, masterful self right through it. And where does this go? We have three cards. <laughs> Look at you. So now this is the fool. Page, you've got the page of wands, right? So this is the fool going through the doorway that opens as a universal gift to you from the divine all that is. And look how you go through that door in total joy, in total faith, raw enthusiasm, excited anticipation. That's the energy that you're moving with. Mmm, how sweet. Next we have... <laughs> Look at this. The Knight of Cups. Beautiful. He carries the Ace of Cups and Knights move energy between cards. So now you have more progression from a page to a Knight. Mm. So really, if we move the cards around just a little bit, you've got Page, Knight, King. That's perfect progression. You get great momentum out of the Major Arcana over here. And the Knight of Cups brings the love. <laughs> 
This is you moving the love that you are through this doorway on the Ace of Pentacles right into the super stable Four of Wands happiest card in the minor suits of tarot. This is what you're creating. This raw joy, happiness, stability, a beautiful foundation. You're doing that kind of work, Sagittarius. Congratulations, because it's been a long journey from these three cards over here. <laughs> All right, we're going to use Angel Answers. This is an opportunity for you to ask a question if you've got one. Pause the video if you need to compose one. I will connect these cards to what's on the table, but they can be a fresh message for you or a confirmation of something completely unrelated. All right, your first card coming out is within the next few months. I take timing very lightly in general practice, but most especially in tarot. And what I feel when I get a timing card like this one within the next few months, the feeling is overwhelmingly so for me that this is a process that goes on for several months. Uh, so this is a beautiful journey. You'll be doing this type of happy journey work with a, the recognition of some lingering influences that no longer serve you. You'll have the opportunity to bring those into harmony and healing. Sweet. Yes, because here's your next card. Oh my gosh, and the one underneath it. First of all, you've got big happy changes because you've chosen happy. And when you choose happy, you make big changes. You just can't help it. It's why you're going through that Ace of Pentacles. And then you have emphatic yes. <laughs> uh, one more. <laughs> Look at this perfect confirmation for you. The situation will improve. It already has Sagittarius, and it will continue to improve because, as I said, you can't stop yourself now. <laughs> All right, next we're going to do a couple of different oracle decks. The first is the Soul Truth Self-Awareness Guidance deck. It's a contemplative question for you. Be in meditation, contemplation with this through the month of August, if you like. What is the most limiting belief? Oh my goodness, how perfect is this? Keeping me from what I want right now. I'll tell you what, it's already here. In the reading, you've seen it. It's these three cards. Well, let's draw the five in here. It's these three cards. It's an old story, my loves. But you're on it. You've seen it. You've gone within. You are looking at it and you're doing something about it. You're bringing the love, you're bringing the happy. <laughs> okay, next we have the Divine Energy Oracle. This is meant for inspiration, affirmation, meditation. Your first card is be of service, yeah. Hmm. Offer what you have, do what you can with what you got. Then you have seek hidden treasure, ooh. First place to look is in your own heart. And last, let go and enjoy. Yep, you do that. Here's your four of wands. Enjoy it. Celebrate it. Shout it. <laughs> Be it. Thank you, Sagittarius, for watching. Again, check out your sun, moon, rising Venus. Please do like, share, subscribe here on the channel. It is so appreciated. Leave a comment if it's in your heart to do so. And don't forget to watch the daily messages here on My Angel Soul. Peace, love, blessings, joy. Namaste.